Hello, I am Sarah from Homespun Childhood. I'm a former teacher turned homeschool mom of three and also work as a homeschool literacy consultant. Here at Homespun Childhood, I share all things homeschool literacy and sometimes even planning. So today's video is gonna fall into that homeschool and planning category. What we're looking at right now is my homeschool wiki in Notion. Notion is a databasing and project management software program. And I'm going to show you how I plan out a unit study using Notion. After I plan out my unit in Notion, I end up writing things down in my homeschool planner, but I really like to have this big picture view in Notion where I can pull up all of my resources and links and all of that. So let's jump into it. So right now we're on my wiki. I'm going to come down here to my content areas. Okay, so we're going to come into history because we're going to talk about a history unit study. If we scroll down here, I have a list of my unit studies. Today we're going to talk about ancient Rome. So when we open the ancient Rome page, a bunch of things show up. A lot of this comes from a template that I have created. So when I click a button, it all auto populates a lot of these sections and then I fill them in for each unit study. So I have different themes here and the things that we wanna kind of pay attention to. I have a watch list, I have a to-do section. We've already finished this unit, so there's not really anything to do. I have an at a glance for our weekly plans. I have a gallery of all of our resources for this unit study. And then I have a table, calendar, and list of our different lessons. So my calendar view will kind of show how I've planned out the unit study. So we have two ongoing topics. We have government and then we have the gods, goddesses, and myths. And then I have different topics for each week. So the first week is introduction and geography. And the second week is military and creating an empire. The third week is daily life. So we have all different facets of daily life. And then more daily life here. And then we have... Um, art and music and architecture, and then the end of an era. If I come over to my list, I can see these kind of laid out in a list view. And then what I've ended up doing is making weekly plans into a separate page. This was kind of before I figured out a way that works better for me, but this works for now too. So up here, I could just come to week one and I have all of my materials for week one and then my lessons for week one. And I could come in to my lesson and this one is all about geography and then within geography I have different subtasks so we're gonna do a tour of ancient Rome we're gonna map ancient Rome we're going to look at architecture we're going to read about the Roman Empire we're going to read from magic treehouse all these different little subtasks that are part of this lesson so if we come back to up here we can see essential questions and big ideas, vocabulary, and different output. I end up screenshotting this and printing this out and pasting it in my School Nest Planner. I like to plan up here digitally where I can type faster and cut and paste from some of our resources. And then I like to have it on paper when I am doing our lessons because I really try to not have like my phone or something out. That said, if I need to pull up a link for a video, I can open my phone really quick and find the link. Let's come back to the course page. Let me come down here. My workflow for this is typically to gather my spine materials. And so if you're interested in that for this particular video, you can watch my ancient Rome unit study video and I'll go over all the different resources. For this particular unit study, our spines were History Quest and then um, Magic Treehouse and Ancient Civilizations Romans. And so I go through these and I pull out my main kind of big topics for history. Those end up being the same thing pretty much unit to unit. So when I was planning ancient Rome, I started by doing each kind of topic was a lesson. So we had geography, introduction, empire, and then I sorted those into weeks. And then I made a page for each week up here. So this is where you'll find the essential questions and big ideas, etc. 
Now that I've been doing this a little bit longer, I'm doing it a bit of a different way where I come in, I've come to ancient China and my lessons are my weeks. So here I am in lessons. This is a linked database. And so week one is intro and geography. Week two was the beginning of the you know, ancient Chinese civilization, daily life, Confucius warfare, Shen Han, um, architecture and inventions. And so within those, I have our essential questions, output, our resources, etc. So I just thought I would walk you through a little bit of how I am using Notion to plan out our unit studies. And so the reason this is really helpful for me is because I end up saving all of these resources over time into my resource database, and then I'll kind of forget that I have it. And so all of these are tagged as I input them to various things. So this book, Architecture of Visual History, I have already tagged it Architecture History, Ancient History, Medieval History. So when I come in to plan a unit, I look for my Ancient History tag and I pull up anything I have and find the ones that are appropriate for this particular unit. So, you know, a lot of this just starts auto-populating once I have put things into my resource gallery and added tags to it. So if I was going to you know, start a morning basket or um, a little mini unit or a week on the moon, I could just search for the moon up here and then pull up my tag and it would already have all of the things, you know, that we can pull from for the moon up here. And so then I could just come in and add them to our week or, you know, our new unit study or whatever. So I know a lot of you have asked about my unit study planning, and this is essentially, you know, just kind of what I do. Um, I will come in at the beginning of a unit study and flush out my uh, topics and my lessons down here. I will often try to get ahead with this overview part, our big ideas, essential questions, etc. But sometimes this ends up being the week before. And then I just print it off and stick it in my planner and go. With my upcoming wiki template, you can also assign all these lessons as dates and they will show up on your wiki based off of who they are assigned for and what um, content area they are and when they're due. So if you have any questions about how I do unit study planning, you're welcome to drop them in the comment box below or you can email me at sarah at homespunchildhood.com or find me on Instagram at homespunchildhood. If you're interested in planning out a unit study using this method, I will be launching my wiki in just a couple of days. Um, and if you're watching this in the future, you'll be able to find my wiki template on my website and link below. 